What will honey do? 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 Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! I need my Jesus in my bottle. My Jesus in my bottle. My Jesus in my bottle. I don't care what you say. I don't, I don't care what you say. Woo, woo, woo! Thank you very much for tuning in to What Will Honey Do show. We are on episode six. The end of season one. Are you excited with me? I am. Let's celebrate. <laughs> you know what I hate? I hate dream killers. Dream killers are some type of people that don't have no dream at all, but want to kill yours. I'm out there, you out there, you creative, and you got a great dream, a great vision, and then you got that one person, or maybe two people, just trying to kill it, so all oh, you ain't worthy of it. This, it's not right. You're never gonna make it. Guess what I do for you people that dream kills? Fuck you. They no reason for you to be trying to kill somebody else's dream. Get your own dream. Build your own vision. Stop trying to rely on somebody else's dream. For what? So you can make you feel better because you trying to kill their dream? No. People like me don't deal with people like you. And you know what I would do for people that dream kill? Fuck it! What's trending today? Let me go through my Facebook. Huh? Sister? Sister, motherhood! Y'all remember that show? Sister, sister, the twins? Tira and Tamara? It looks like, apparently it looks like, they gonna be having a show coming out this summer. Wow, and it's basically them as mother, as adults, and they're going through their motherhood experience. Very interesting. I've always been a sister to sister fan, so this is going to be, you know, a little bit different. It's seeing them as adults, so, you know, they can't be acting like silly like how they used to do back then. Now they got to come with, like, more of a maturity with the children. So, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. I think I might take a peep at it one show or two. And if it's good, maybe I'll follow the whole season. But, yeah. Stay tuned for Sister Sister Motherhood. What else is trending today? Ah, I know. I just heard the news that they found Bobby Christina. They just released, unsealed, her autopsy. And it's just crazy. She, she passed away of... Drowning due to drug and alcohol. It's just a serious topic for me because she just fell right in her mom's footsteps. And for, she fell in her footsteps at such a young age. She had all the money in the world. She had everything to like make a, you know, make everything a better person of herself. To travel, to explore life. But instead, she chose the way that her mom did by doing drugs and alcohol. It's so sad. I think it's very horrible. Um, usually when people do grow up, if their parents are um, drug addicts or alcoholics, people either go, it, to me, they either go two ways. They're either going to come just like them or they're, they're going to be the, the opposite. In this case, Bobby Christina fell right into her mom's footsteps. And it's sad. People like me or people like a lot of people out there wish we was, was raised or born into such a great financial, civil, like abundance situation. Where being just having all the money in the world. Not all the money, but it's just crazy how she just fell right into it. This ditch and killed herself. Um, am I not being concise? 
But this this is going to be a very deep topic. You need to really research it. Give me your inputs on it. Please leave me a comment. We'll, we'll go back and forth in discussing this. Um, how you feel about this situation. Where you, you feel like you will be caught up in. If you had this money and your parents was rich and they died. Will you be caught up in this situation? Will you be caught up doing drugs and killing yourself at a young age? Throughout the Middle East, they're chopping off heads of Christians. They're chopping off heads of people. Anybody gets in the way. They're drowning 30, 40 people at a time in heavy steel cages. As far as I'm concerned, waterboarding is absolutely fine, but we should go much further. And I got a standing ovation. Standing ovation. It's only fit that I end season one talking about Trump. He has, he's at it again. First of all, Donald, you're a savage. And the more I hear you, you become extremely more of a savage. To me, you're an idiot. The stuff that come out your mouth and the people that support you are idiots with you. Beware, guys. If Donald Trump becomes president, we're all fucked. We're going, we're going to be in World War III. Like, that's what I feel. That's the energy. He has a lot of supporters out there. Let's kill it. Let's stop. Let's put a vote, anti-vote, Trump. All right? Who with me? I know I And this is what I would do for you, Trump. Fuck you. very creative like always you always have very creative video the song aside make me like you the vocals are com like comfortable for you in your settings um when I don't know I think you need to step your game up a little bit step out the box again you did a song with Eve and that song was out of your element and felt more from you then. Now you're more in your elevator, you're singing comfortably. The song is I. It got it has four million views within two weeks. I Gwen Stefani. Enough talking about all the trending things that have been going on this week. Right now it's about me and you. And what I want to talk about today is shake. And bake. And um, to shake, I want you to shake all that negative energy around you. Shake it right off or out of your life. And um, that's been, you know, been, you go through things at work, things at home, things with family, things with friends. They bring you down. They burn you down. So right now, I want you to do is shake and bake. In my bacon, I mean bake positive energy. Think of a good feeling of of um what you like, what you like to eat, what you like to travel. Bake a great seed in your life so it can bloom. So that's all I have for you today. I do thank you very much for tuning in. This is Season 1, Episode 6. I thank you for everybody for following all the seasons. And, I mean, all the episodes. Sorry, I'm messing my words up. And and just rocking with me. Um, please make sure you tune in. Um, subscribe to LaRon Conyers. Honey Love 101. Uh, we everywhere all over social media. Just look us up. And make sure you you beware and stay tuned for season two, baby. Bye-bye.